the magical substance we call Ether. The first of Ion's creatures were the Drakan, whom he created to rule the others. But where once they had governed, they now chose to enslave, taking on new powers and a new name, Valar. Their lords rose in rebellion against Ion. The human race opposed the Valar, but human strength and numbers were not enough to overcome them. Ion imbued certain humans with ether, twelve Empyrean lords to rule the human race, and a host of immortal winged devas. But to prevail against such a foe was no easy task, even for these great warriors. And so the war continued for a thousand years. Israfel, an Empyrean lord, wanted to propose peace to the dragon lords of the Balar. Many disagreed with him, and there were heated debates in the Lord's councils. But when Lady Ariel joined in solidarity, many others followed. They lowered the etheric field that protected them from attack, and the Balar delegation arrived at the tower. In an instant, tragedy struck. Lord Retra fell. Panic gripped the assembly. Who had attacked first? No one could say. All thoughts of peace abandoned. The war began anew as Lord Phrygion launched a bolt of fire toward Ion's tower. Without the protection of the etheric field, the tower broke apart under the Balar attack. Knowing the danger to humanity in the world, Lady Seal and Lord Israfel rushed to reset the field. Sacrificing themselves, they averted the complete destruction of Atreya, but not in time to prevent a cataclysm that shattered the world into pieces. And so the stage was set for another war that would rule the lives of devas and humans for centuries to come.